All right guys, introducing the world's first ever battery powered subwoofer. It's the Yorkville EXM mobile sub. All right, I'm super excited to review and show off this sub to you guys. But before we start, I would like to ask you guys a big favor and please hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, it helps me out more than you guys know. At Yorkville, you guys are definitely changing the game with the first lithium ion battery powered subwoofer. I'm sure it's not gonna be the last. There are gonna be more to follow, but you guys did it first, all right? And you guys heard it here first. It only weighs 30 pounds, so for a subwoofer, that's really, really light. You can carry it literally with one hand, and it has uh, two eight inch low frequency woofers that deliver a punch, a low end punch that from this size, you wouldn't believe. At maximum volumes, it will last five and a half hours. And at moderate to low volumes, it will last up to 20 hours of playing time. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And the battery only takes four hours to fully charge. It has Bluetooth capabilities, so you can connect with it to your mobile devices, such as your iPad, iPhone, Android phone, or laptops. You can also connect two of these mobile subs using Bluetooth and is recommended to uh, connect to the other EXM lines of battery powered speakers. The EXM Mobile Sub is specifically meant to be paired up with the EXM Mobile 8, but traditionally you can also pair up with any sub or any full range speaker using the outs on the back of the sub. Now the EXM Mobile Sub packs a punch for its size and it has very many uses wherever you need extra low end. Now let's be real here. This sub is not meant to replace your 18 inch subwoofer that you use for a wedding or even a 100-150% dance party. It's meant to complement a top to give you nice low end for maybe like a cocktail hour for a DJ, a ceremony, small get together at a house party, small gatherings, easy listening. It's perfect for those times. It's not made for a full-blown dance party. I actually had a chance to use this sub and the EXM Mobile 8 together at my last wedding last weekend. I just wanted to see how it would fare during dinner. They had an in-house system, so I actually turned it down and I turned up the EXM Mobile 8 and the EXM Mobile Sub to see if I could fill the room and see how it would fare in that situation. Here's a clip. All right guys, just to give you an indication of how the EXM Mobile 8 and EXM Mobile Sub sound, I turned off the in-house speakers, so the in-house stuff is off. It's only the Mobile 8 and the EXM Sub on right now. Check it out. person wedding and it can do it no problem I'm really impressed with this system actually Yorkville so they didn't do too bad it did really fill up the room and a couple of times I had to turn down the bass during dinner because the bass was too loud and aggressive that surprised me so let's take a closer look at the sub to see how it's built and the mixer section in the back now looking at the front of the unit, you can see the painted black metal grill. And if you look through the grill, you can actually see the double eight inch woofer. Yeah! Now turning the unit around, you can see that there's a handle right here that you can use to carry it. Now turning it around to the opposite end, you can see that there's four rubber feet here, so you can place this unit on the floor on its side as well. Looking at the top of the actual unit, you can see that it has a hole right in the middle for a speaker pole. And then it has four recessed holes on each corner, so you can actually stack another EXM mobile on top of this. The unit itself is made out of birch plywood, and it has a black sprayed on powder coating 
that Yokeville is known for. Now we go to the underside of the unit where of course there are four rubber feet which protects the actual unit when you put it on the floor. Okay, now we're at the back of the unit, the mixer section. Far left, you have your indicator light that shows if you're paired with your Bluetooth. This is to turn on the Bluetooth right here, the Bluetooth button. Here's your aux in. If you want to plug in with an aux cord, a stereo sound for your main input. So for your left speaker and your right speaker, Here's the level, the sound level for the sub. High pass outputs, um, if you go to the left side and right side, it actually, you don't need a crossover for this. It actually takes out everything below 100 hertz, so it takes out the low end automatically when you use these ones. And then this is for mono, a mono sound. Right here is another uh, light indicator. When it shows green, it's fully charged. When it shows red, it's still charging. Battery level indicator, so you can see how much battery you have left on the actual unit. The power button, so you can turn it off and on. And of course, you have um, the plug where you can plug in to charge the unit as well. So that's pretty much it. That's the back of the unit. All right, guys, so we're gonna do a little sound test. I know it's hard to hear the bass through the microphone camera, but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a song, a bass heavy song, and then I'm gonna put a piece of paper over the front of the grill so you can see how much it moves it. First, I'm gonna do 50% of the volume, okay? Here we go. volume now. Oh man, the neighbors are gonna be bugging. Here we go. <laughs> Okay guys, there you have it. That's my review of the Yorkville EXM Mobile Sub. For its size and its weight, it packs a punch. Only 30 pounds, right? It retails for only $819 here in Canada. I'm not sure if it's there in the States or the UK or other parts of the world, but you guys can make that conversion. If you guys heard it here first, the first ever battery powered subwoofer from Yorkville. Of course, it's not to replace your 18 inch beasts, the ones that you lug at weddings and bigger events, right? They're more for smaller gatherings, smaller house parties, just for a supplemental lower end. You can always get two to help supplement as well, right? And you can pair them together. So it's up to you guys. I totally recommend these. These are pretty awesome for their size. So if you guys like this video, please give me a big like down below and make sure to subscribe. A lot more coming your way. This is DJ Knight signing off. See you guys in the next one.